Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have my monthly huge collective slash shopping spree haul for you guys. I'm not gonna lie, this is a very, very, very big one. And I think I need to cut myself off from shopping entirely for the next upcoming month because holy crap, I have a problem. I have a lot of stuff and I've been doing a lot of hauls on my channel in general. I love shopping. I love filming these videos for you guys and I think you guys really enjoyed it as well. I hope you do. So I'm going to continue to do them even if my bank account is screaming at me. I have items from For Love and Lemon, Stanley, Sephora, Skims, Revolve, Aritzia, Dossier, Amazon, Base, and more. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> as always, I will have all these items listed and linked in the description box if you guys want to shop anything that I show and without further ado let's get into the video of course it is not one of my collective hauls if I don't mention dossier I'm so obsessed with them I have a whole dossier collection they're literally my favorite fragrance brand they have female fragrances unisex male genderless they have it all I just love dossier and I have three new fragrances to share with you guys so if you guys don't know what dossier is they are a fragrance website that replicates designer inspired fragrances for a fraction of the cost they also do free 30-day returns they're also available in 1400 Walmart so I'll have a store locator linked in the description if you guys want to find a Walmart near you that carries them they have so many different designers so many different fragrances to choose from on their website and they are releasing a new product every month which I'm holding one of them right now I'm just obsessed you guys need to try them if you haven't already I do have a discount code which is Hannah Victoria 5 for 5% off your dossier order I will also have a link to the website in the description if you guys want to check them out so this first one that I have is called bubbly spritz and bitters this is a dossier original so this is part of their own collection it's not inspired by any fragrance i'm really excited to try this one i actually have the little travel size that i showed you guys in my last collective haul obsessed the top notes are orange and bitter orange mandarin aldehydes and neroli i love orange scents they're so good Ooh, this smells just like the description it reminds me of like an aperol spritz definitely not too sweet which makes sense because it's uh bitter but definitely smells like spring and summer to me this was crafted in grasse france grass france i don't know if i'm saying that right but super cool i love this one i'm obsessed i'm actually very very impressed next up i have ambery vetiver this is inspired by byredo's Ball de Afrique EDP. I hope I didn't butcher that. I've never tried Byredo, but I've heard really, really good things about their scents and they're very popular. I love this. The top notes in this are bergamot, lemon, and buchu. Okay, now I'm gonna have a hard time deciding on what to wear tonight. Between the bubbly spritz and bitters and ambery vetiver, I don't know. I'm obsessed with both of them. Guys, you need to try these. So last fragrance that I have to show you guys is called Ambery Sage. This is inspired by Tom Ford effing fabulous it's not actually effing it's the actual word but i'm not gonna say that on my channel the top notes in this are bitter almond sage and lavender which is gonna be very interesting for me because i don't know if i own any fragrances that have bitter almond and sage in them so we're gonna see Ooh, i definitely smell the lavender i smell the sage as well and i get a little bit of the almond this is a very popular fragrance from Tom Ford, so I knew I was gonna like it, but I was a little a little hesitant. This might be unisex. I think this is unisex. Huge shout out to Dossier for partnering with me on this video. I will have a link in the description if you guys wanna check them out. And also don't forget to use my discount code at HannahVictoria5 for 5% off your Dossier order. I really don't know which one I'm gonna spray tonight. I think I'm gonna do the bubbly spritz and bitters. The good thing about Dossier is you can spray however much you want because it's so affordable. <laughs> okay, I just inhaled it. And without further ado, let's get into the rest of the video. Like I said, this is going to be a hefty, hefty haul. So I'm going to speed through this stuff because we would be here literally for an hour. I'm not joking. Starting off, I got two new Stanleys. This one I got off of Amazon and... This one I got from the Stanley website. So I will have both linked down below if you guys want to shop any of these Stanleys. But I already own a white one and a light pink one. And I've always wanted this dark pink one. And I finally found it on Amazon. So I scooped it up. Originally, I had to order the 30 ounce. And then my boyfriend checked for me and he was like, the 40 ounce is back in stock. So I canceled that and ordered this one because I just love the 40 ounce ones. This is just a Stanley household. I now have four. 
my boyfriend just got a black one he's obsessed seriously it makes you drink more water it's just the best cup ever it fits in my cup holder unlike my hydro flask did it's got a nice little handle i love them they are clunky but they're just the best and i haven't used the fuchsia one yet but i've been using the lilac one for a few weeks now and i'm just obsessed see so yeah, how this one is in lilac and this one is in fuchsia i don't know which one's my favorite probably the fuchsia just because my favorite color is pink but both are so pretty okay so next up i got an item from tiktok shop it's actually a super long story but basically i saw this sweater on for love and lemons that was like 250 dollars, and i was obsessed with it but i was like i'm only gonna wear that once and then get tired of it and i was like i'm not spending that kind of money on a sweater that i'm only gonna wear like one or two times and then it go out of style or i just be over it like i'm just not doing that that's a waste of money so i was scrolling through tiktok and like i typed in the name of the sweater and i found this girl that linked it on tiktok shop i forget the name of this sweater on for love and lemons it might be the laurel sweater or something this one's actually the cardigan version they have like an oversized sweater version as well but they also have the cardigan so i just got the cardigan because i could wear it open i could wear it closed whatever but it's basically just this cream and pink sweater with these ribbon detailings and it's so pretty and this is what the sleeve looks like it's super long i actually wore this to dinner and had to tuck the ribbon like under the sweater because it was getting in my food but it's so stinking cute like i said i wore this to dinner i paired it with like a white tank top underneath and it was just perfect i love this i'll try and find the exact link in the description i don't know if i'll be able to find it i'm gonna look through my tiktok shop order history and hopefully i'll be able to find it but i don't want to gatekeep it's so freaking cute and you guys need this it's super super good quality and it looks exactly like the real for love and lemons one without the price tag so next up an item that i actually got from for love and lemons this is called the adeline bustier i think i got this on sale but this is so freaking cute i saw some tiktoker wear this i think she was sponsored by them and i was like okay that is adorable i have to buy that right now but it's just this white bustier top with little roses on it and i love roses roses are my favorite flowers i got this in a 32c i haven't even tried this on i'm really hoping it fits they were out of a b but i'm in between a b and a c cup so i never know but it looks like it's gonna fit and i'm really really excited to wear this in the spring and summer i just thought it was so dainty and so cute and so girly and cutesy and just all the vibes and it's also got some clasp detailing in the back so you can adjust it for like your band size or whatever i'm so excited the straps adjust and they're so cute i uh, i'm obsessed with this top i know i always say obsessed but genuinely if i say i'm obsessed i'm obsessed <laughs> i think i got this on sale which is a steal so next up i made a purchase on luxie hair i've never ordered them before but acquired style did a collab with them for like a heatless curler set so i got it and it was like 30 dollars, 35 dollars, which honestly is a steal because you get this reusable bag and then you get the actual like heatless curler ribbon thing you also get a clip to hold it in place and then these really cute scrunchy ribbon things and they're like pink silk so I ordered a heatless curler set on Amazon for, I want to say like $20, 20 to 25. It was just really cheap. It didn't come with a hair clip. It didn't come with a bag, which is fine. It works, but this is just so aesthetic and so cute. And I got the full package and I'm just, I'm obsessed. I haven't used this exact set yet because I got it and then I went out of town. So I haven't used it yet, but I've used my one from Amazon for so long, not so long, probably like a month, but I love the way the curls turn out and i need to include it in a vlog soon i'll definitely do that for you guys it takes me like a minute to do both sides it's so easy but i know you guys know what i'm talking about i'm sure you've seen it on tiktok where you just wrap your hair around the little heatless curler thing it's amazing saves me a lot of time and their customer service is great originally when they sent me this they forgot the little scrunchies and i emailed them and sent them pictures and they immediately shipped a replacement so that was very very helpful but I love it. This bag is like really good quality. Look how stinking cute. So next up from Sephora, I'm only going to show one item because I need to do a huge dedicated haul on all the items that I've been purchasing because it's a lot. So I'm going to do a whole haul on it. Be looking forward to that. The sale is coming out very soon, which is really exciting. But I've actually had this item for a while now, like over a month. I forgot to include this in my last collective haul, but it's a product I've been using nonstop. 
So this is the Day Fairy Duster Dry Shampoo. I'm sure you guys have heard and seen this before. It's very popular right now. This is amazing. This is my new favorite dry shampoo. I love the Dry Bar Dry Shampoo as well. But I've heard aerosols are really bad for like your scalp and everything. So I've been trying to get away from that. Um, so I decided to try this product out. My mom also has this and loves it as well. I honestly cannot live without it. You just spray it and it's a powder, but it's still like a mist, but it's not like a powerful mist. It's kind of like a light mist, which makes sense because it's fairy dust, but whatever. And you let it sit for like a few seconds to a minute and then I just rub it in and it works really well. It does kind of make my hair not hard, not crunchy. I don't know, like thick maybe, I don't know. But it does add a lot of volume and honestly, I go over a week without washing my hair with this stuff. Like, I'm not even kidding you. It does not look oily. It's freaking amazing. Definitely try this out if you haven't already. I'm pretty blonde, so I don't know how it's going to work on darker hair, but I think you should be fine as long as you rub it in. But this is amazing. So next up, I have four new beautiful, stunning jackets I'm obsessed with from this brand called Fabrique. I will have all their info in the description if you guys want to check them out. I highly, highly recommend. Their stuff is amazing quality, super classy, and I'm just obsessed with them. I'd never heard of them before, but they reached out to me and wanted to give me a few things. So, like I said, I will have all their info in the description box. They came with these little cards talking about each designer. One's from London, which... I love London. Well, I've never been. I'm going this summer, but my boyfriend's from London, which is super cool. Another one from London, and then another one from Paris, which I'm also going to. Amazing, stunning, we love. So I'll have all these linked in the description with their exact name. And I'm also gonna try them on for you guys. But this is the first one. It's like this super oversized, very, very dark, rich, deep brown leather jacket. Guys, this is absolutely stunning. I love it. I don't have anything like this in my collection. I just think this is so chic and I honestly cannot wait to wear this. I know we're getting into warmer weather, but honestly, it's still pretty chilly out in North Carolina. So I can definitely get away with wearing this for at least a few more weeks, I think. I love the dark brown and the leather combination. So, so cute. I got this in an extra small. And then I also got this light kind of orangey brown blazer. This is the leather vibe as well. I love this. Like if I was going to like a business meeting or something and I showed up in this, like that would be such a vibe. I'm definitely gonna bring this to Europe with me because some of the places that I'm going are gonna be a little bit colder. And oh my gosh, it's so stunning. I am obsessed with the color as well. It's definitely out of my comfort zone. I don't normally go for like orangey browns, but this is so stunning. And I also got this in an extra small. Ah! The quality is unreal, like guys, it's so nice. Like these are like the nicest jackets that I have in my collection, to be honest. And then I got this blazer. I believe this is called the Bella blazer. I got this in extra small. It came with this little detachable belt. I don't really have that many blazers. I did mention some in my Aritzia haul that I just did, but this one fits amazing. It honestly fits me better than the Aritzia ones. And it's super, super good quality. I got this in extra small. Again, I'm definitely bringing this to Europe with me. Last but not least, I got this like leather bomber situation. It's got like a nice little collar on it. I got this in extra small. It's black. And this is probably my favorite item that I got. I think I wanna wear this out tonight because it's a little chilly. I'm obsessed. I brought this to Wyoming with me. Sadly, I didn't vlog the trip, but I brought this with me and I loved it so much. It's got silver detailing and this is just so fab. I'm really upset that I've never heard of them until now because I would be getting all my jackets from them because the quality is just amazing. Thank you so much to Fabrique for gifting me these items. Don't forget guys to check the link in my description if you guys wanna check out their website and shop the products that I showed you guys and check out the rest of their inventory. I promise you won't regret it, it's amazing. So next up from Skims, I got four items. So first up, I got a bathing suit little set. This is the Skims triangle top, I believe. And then I got the signature swim dip tie bottom. I own this bathing suit in three other shades, no four other shades. And they're just the most flattering bathing suits on me. I actually have an Instagram picture that I posted in the black one from last spring slash summer. It's just so flattering. I feel so confident in this bathing suit. I feel like with bathing suits, you really have to figure out what fits your body type best and what complements you and flatters you the most 
for me personally i have a super short torso so i always go for triangle fitting tops because it just kind of like accentuates my torso more and then for bottoms it really doesn't matter i do like ones with like strings on the side and i like a little bit more of a medium coverage bottom just because my family and I have a lake house and I'm there in the summer with a lot of my family members and I don't really wanna be like wearing a thong and I just wouldn't feel comfortable in that anyways. So these are perfect and it's so flattering. So Skim Swims just like launched a bunch of new colors a few weeks ago and I picked up this beautiful pink shade. Hopefully it's still available, but I'm sure they will restock it. Last but not least from Skims, I got a matching little sweatsuit. I'm obsessed with sweatsuits. I mean, obviously, I just live in them. I've really found my love for sweatsuits this past fall and winter. I was never like a huge fan of sweatsuits. I would just wear like leggings and a sweatshirt, but there's just something about a matching set. It really does it for me, especially for flying and like travel and stuff. Like I love it, honestly. For just like running out the door and running errands this is my uniform so i got the cotton fleece classic jogger and the cotton fleece classic zip up hoodie both in a double x small both in the cherry blossom and i love this so much i wore this to the airport when i went to wyoming i literally just got back yesterday night at midnight um but it was so comfy so cozy here are the bottoms they actually fit me lengthwise perfect which i was really surprised because i'm five one almost five one uh, but they are pretty big in the waist, so I'd definitely say size down because these are a double X small and I could have done a triple X small. <laughs> uh, but I love this color. It's just like a beautiful baby light pink, which I've been obsessed with recently. We have two more stores to go through, so let's power through. Oh, just kidding. I want to mention this. I got this from Amazon. I meant to mention this with my Stanley since I also got that from Amazon. Guys, if I did like an Amazon monthly haul... Would you guys be interested? Because I buy something from Amazon every day. It's the most random stuff ever, but I never show it in my collective hauls because it's just like Amazon. But if you guys want me to do that, I totally will start doing it. So just let me know. But I actually got this in the mail right before my trip. So it was in with all the rest of the stuff. So I thought I'd mention it, but this is just like a world traveler adapter kit from the brand septics i had to get this because i'm going to europe and i'm going to three different countries and each country uses a different outlet it comes with type g type c type e type ef type b type a like all these different adapters for it so we love that i needed that definitely a random and boring buy but again it's something that i really needed for my upcoming trip okay so next up from revolve i have two boxes so we're gonna get through it really quick so first up i want to mention i got these base packing cubes off of revolve i'll have them linked in the description and on my revolve favorites list i'll have all this stuff linked on my revolves favorites list for europe 2024 i think is what i titled it but anyways they're actually in my suitcase which is in my car already i already unpacked from my trip i just got back last night like i said and i forgot to get them out so i'm so sorry but I got the dark brown ones, which I think looks really, really good with the tan base suitcase that I have. I have the carry-on and the large roller in the beige shade and like all the toiletry bags in the beige shade as well. So I thought the brown looked really good. They were also sold out of the beige slash tan that I have on base and on Revolve. I think it was on pre-order for both. So I just went ahead and got the dark brown, but like I said, I love it. It's super cute. They're like compression packing cubes and it has like a double zipper so it just really flattens your stuff and it came with six and i love it i used it for my last trip to wyoming for the first time and i loved them so also from base i got this off of revolve as well obviously this is a little like jewelry travel case i think yeah oh my god this is so freaking cute i'm covering up the mirror so i don't blind you guys how stinking cool is this for all my jewelry for traveling Normally, I would just stick with like the little small cases that you can get off of anywhere, but I'm gonna be gone for like two and a half to three weeks. So I thought I would need something a little bit bigger. And this way my jewelry won't get tangled. It's got like these little necklace holder things. It's got, oh my gosh, so much stuff. And again, it matches my luggage. So I'm so excited about this. Super good quality. I love base so much. So next up, I got two pairs of shoes from Tony Bianco. One pair I already showed in my last vlog that I did, 
but I'm gonna show them again because some of you probably didn't see them. But they're these Alexa mules, I think is what they're called. No. These are the Krista sandal. I got these in black. I got these in a seven and a half. I also got these in white that I showed in my Revolve haul that I just did. I got those in a seven and these in a seven and a half just to kind of fill it out because I feel like I'm in between both sizes. These fit really good. I feel like the seven fit me a little bit better, but I love the white one so, so much that I wanted to get it in black as well. I got these for Europe just because they have a super small heel, but also just for around here in the spring and summer because it's not super fancy where i live and like the bar scene isn't like super high heel stiletto vibes you know so i got these to wear kind of looks like a thong like flip-flop sandal i love these super super comfortable super good quality and i know a lot of you guys were saying that i need to ditch the heels or the mules and go for flats for europe and i'm listening to you i hear you but i mean there's gonna be an occasion where i can wear like a little bit of a heel Obviously not when I'm like walking around and like sightseeing and stuff, but like for the clubs and bars at night, like I'll definitely be able to wear these. And then I also got these, which I showed in my vlog. These are the Alexa Mule in black and I got these in a seven and these are so sick. I tried these on, they look so stunning. I love them. I love how they're like a squared toe. This part is so cute as well. These are probably my favorite. Like I love these. So, so cute. So, those are both the shoes that I got. Last but not least, from Revolve, I got this belt. It was actually on back order. I just got it in the mail, like, yesterday. This is from the brand Below the Belt, and it's just this, like, cream, like, ivory and gold belt. I got this in extra small. It was very expensive. It was, like, $130. My boyfriend was like, Tori, you literally could have gotten a designer belt for that price, and he's right, but this is so cute. I just needed a white kind of like off-white belt for the spring and summer because all my belts are black. So I found this one, it's super skinny, which I love. It comes with this little bag, which is super cute. So no regrets, I needed it, okay? Ignore the mess, I literally had to take an intermission. <laughs> but I forgot to mention this top that I got from Revolve. It's by the brand Super Down. It's this beautiful like lace pink see-through top. It has this really cute like flower on it. It's got like little roses, I guess. I don't know. Super cute. This was also on back order. It's also very, very cropped, but it's got this like lace dangly string detailing in the front. It's very see-through. So I'm gonna have to wear like pasties or like a bralette. I don't know how I'm gonna style this, but I almost forgot about it. So I just wanted to mention it really quickly. Okay, last but not least, we have Aritzia. And then we're done, I promise. So this item I actually mentioned in my Aritzia try on haul. I have it in black. I love it so much that I had to order it in this baby blue shade. I got this one in extra small. My black one's in an extra extra small. It's a little tight, but head to that video if you guys wanna see this on. It's so flattering. I've already worn this one. I've already worn the black one. It's absolutely stunning. It is kind of like off the shoulder. It twists in the front and it's the perfect length where I can tuck it in like a bodysuit. They also have this available in a bodysuit, but it's the long sleeve version, so. Super, super cute. I love this one. It's like my favorite top of the season. I also mentioned in that video, these linen pants by the brand Babaton. I ended up getting the cropped ones in that Aritzia haul that I'm talking about. And I mentioned in that video that I was gonna exchange them for the regular length because I feel like I've either grown or I have longer legs than I thought. I'm 5'1", I'm like not even 5'1", I'm like five and three quarters, but I've always been used to like buying cropped things or like petite things or the short length and things. And now I'm realizing like either they're shrinking or I'm growing, I don't know. But I ended up getting the cropped ones in that video that were like a 24 inch length and they're just a little too short on me. And by a little, I mean a lot. Head to that video if you guys wanna see them on. But I exchanged them for the full length. I got a double X small on these. So I believe they're around a 27, 28 inch inseam, if I had to say, or like length. Uh, they're absolutely stunning. I love these. I got these for my Europe trip. Definitely head to the video if you guys wanna see these on, but these fit so much better lengthwise. They're actually full length on me and they're not too long and they're definitely not too short, so love them i also got this matching sweatsuit that i'm wearing right now so i got the sweat fleece cozy mega cargo jogger and the sweat fleece cozy fleece boyfriend boxy zip hoodie both in this beautiful cobalt blue i think my cargo pants that i have from them aren't the joggers i think they're just like the regular sweatpants i get those in the short length but all of mine have shrunk i have five pairs okay five pair and they have all shrunk so i just decided to get these in the regular length and they fit perfect. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but they fit 
perfect. I got these in a double X small and then I got the zip up in an extra small just because I wanted a little bit oversized. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to start buying all of my sweatpants from them in the regular length, even though it says that the recommended sizing chart is like 5'5 five, five to like 5'9 or maybe even taller for the regular length. They also have a tall version and a short version, like I said, and I normally have the short version, but I don't know if I've grown or if they've shrunk, but I got these in the regular length and they fit perfect. I'm obsessed with this blue shade. I look like a blueberry, but I'm not mad about it. Last but not least for this haul, last but not least from Aritzia haven't even opened this item. I got another item in this beautiful blue shade. This is brand new to Aritzia and I'm obsessed with it. I love this blue on me. This is the contour short sleeve bodysuit in jazz blue. I got this in extra small. I own this in so many different colors, like five different colors, and I just needed it in this dark blue. I have the long sleeve version in a very similar blue by them that I wear all the time. So I thought that I would get the short sleeve version for spring and summer. The Babaton collection from Aritzia or the Babaton brand, whatever, is just amazing. It's my favorite thing ever. Go check out my Aritzia video if you guys want to hear me talk about it more in depth, but I love it so, so much. So flattering. So guys, that is it for my huge shopping spree slash collective haul. This is probably the biggest one that I've done on my channel in a very long time. It might be my biggest one of all time, or maybe I just talk a lot. I don't know, but I will have all these items listed and linked in the description box. If you guys want to purchase anything that I showed, don't forget to check out dossier and use my discount code Hannah Victoria five for 5% off your order. Also don't forget to check out fabric. I will have them linked in the description. If you guys want to check out their stuff as well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below and click that bell for every Sunday and Wednesday. Also don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, which are on the screen also listed and linked in the description box below i love you all so so much and i will hopefully see you all very very soon in my next one bye guys